I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we are going to share with you a method of finding area of a regular octagon. The question is, find area of regular octagon with each side of length S units. So, so in this case, we are given that each side is S units, right? So this is S, this is also S, right? So each side is equal, regular, and the length is S. So if you are given only a side length, not A, right? Not the apothem. In that case, how are you going, going to find the area of a regular octagon? That is what we are going to look into. So, so the concept here is to think about this octagon being enclosed in a square, right? So if I extend these sides, right? So if I extend these sides, then what do you observe? You observe that this octagon is within a square. Right? So these are all perpendicular sides. And from the symmetry, you also observe that these two ends of a triangle are exactly same, correct? So, so we can say that area of octagon is equal to area of square minus area of these four triangles. So, if you take away these four triangles, then you get area of the octagon, correct? So area of four triangles, four triangular corners. So that should help you to find the area of the octagon. Is that concept clear? Correct. Now, let's look into one of these triangles. Now, if you look into this triangle, what should the angle be? Since it is a right triangle with two equal sides, these two angles are going to be 45 degrees each. Correct. They are both 45 degrees. Okay, so in that case, let's say if x is the side length, then you know that x square plus x square is equal to the side length of the octagon, right? So that is 2x square is equal to s square and x square will be s square by 2. So x is going to be square root of s square by 2. So x is equal to s over square root of 2 right so that is what each uh, triangle is going to be uh, what you would do here is uh, that becomes your each side length right now since x is s over 2 we got everything in terms of x do you see that right so that's very interesting so for an octagon it's kind of simpler now, uh, let's figure out what is the uh, area of triangle. So, triangle area. So, area of one triangle is half of base, which is x, times height, which is x. So, that is basically half of x square, right? Which is s square by 2. So, which is basically half of x square. Or I could write this as s square by 2, right? So it is half of s square by 2 or s square by 4. Correct? So, so what we find is that area equals to 
S square by 4 of each triangle of each triangle correct now we can also find what is the total length now in this case since we know that x is s over 2 right which you could also write as multiplying by square root of 2 we get s square root 2 over 2 so that becomes slightly simpler to work with, right? So, so each length x is s square root 2 over 2. This is also s square root 2 over 2, right? So, so the total length of this square is how much? Let's find the area of square now. So we say area of square is equal to we have to add these lengths right so the total length here is is basically s plus 2 times s square root 2 over 2 which is basically equal to this 2 and 2 cancel s plus s square root 2 is that clear to you right s plus s square root 2 so the area will be square of this which is s plus s square root 2 whole square since this total side length is basically this side length s plus these two so twice s square root 2 by 2 right so that 2 cancels you get s plus s square root 2 each side length is s plus s square root 2 clear Therefore, the area of the square is s plus s square root 2 whole square. Correct? Right? Now, we could simplify this. We can write this as s square. Let's expand this. Plus 2 times product of these two, which is s square square root 2. Plus square of this, which is s square times 2. Or I can write 2 times s square. Combining these terms, we get what? So we get um, 2 and 1, 3s square plus 2s square square root 2. Is that clear? Now, let us find the area. We know already now that area of the square is this. Area of four triangles is 4 times s square over 4 right so we can now write area of polygon area of octagon which is equal to area of square we have already written area of square minus area of four corners so area of square is 3s square plus 2s square square root 2 minus 4 times s square over 4 right so this 4 and 4 cancels 3s square minus s square is 2s square so we get 2s square plus 2s square square root 2 you can take 2 times s square common we get 1 plus square root 2 and units will be unit square is that clear to you so that becomes the area of an octagon in general is that clear to you so that is how we can actually derive the formula for area of an octagon. Is that clear? I'd like you to go through this derivation, understand the steps. And now we'll take up an example. Now here is an example for you. We need to find area of a regular octagon with perimeter of 38. Okay. So let's try to do it here. When we say perimeter is 48 centimeters octagon is eight sides right then each side length s is equal to how much side length will be 48 divided by eight sides means six centimeters right so each side is six centimeters correct now we found the area of an octagon to be equal to the formula was 
2 times side square times 1 plus square root 2, right, unit square. Using this formula, we get 2 times, side is 6, right, 6 square times 1 plus square root 2 as our answer, which is 36 times 2, 72, 1 plus square root 2, right. You can use the calculator to find approximate value. So we have 72 within brackets 1 plus square root of 2, right, equals to, which is in decimals, uh, 173.8 unit square. So, so once you know this concept, it is so simple, right? Now, let us try to uh, do as we did the derivation. That is to say that we'll figure out what is the side of this square as we derive the formula, right? So let's redo the derivation with the help of values, right? So that is specific to this example. So if you extend the sides, we now know that these two sides are equal and each side is six units, right? So if we have this side as x, both x, the corners of x have been cut out, right? So these are all x, right? In that case, we know that x squared plus x squared is 6 squared. So I'm redoing the whole derivation. 2x squared equals to 36. x squared equals to 36 divided by 2, which is 18. And x will be square root of 18. Correct? Now, as far as the total square side is concerned, we now know that the length of this square is equal to s plus 2x, 2 times square root 18. Is that clear? Because x is 2 square root 18, right? Now, we also know that area of a square will be what? Area of a area of square is basically this side length, which is 6 for us, S is 6, right? 6 plus 2 times square root 18 whole square. Let's expand this. We get 6 square, which is 36, plus 2 times this. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Square root 18, right? Plus square of this term, which is 4 times 18, right? Which is... I'll write 4 times 18 now. Okay. So that becomes the uh, term when you square and expand this. So that gives you, uh, you can use the calculator, 36 plus, actually speaking, square root of 18 is 9 times 2, 3 times this, right? So we could write this as, 24 square root of 18 basically is 9 which is 3 times 2 3 square root 2 right and here we get 36 and 272 right 4 times 4 8 32 72 so so basically we get this term which is 36 plus 72 square root 2 plus 72 okay now what is area of each triangle let's find area of triangle now each triangle area is half of base which is x which is square root 18 times height which is also square root of 18 so when you multiply you get this as 18 right so that becomes uh, uh, 18 over 2 so 18 times 18 over 2 which is 9 so area of each triangle is 9 now area of four triangles 
will be 9 times 4 or 36. Correct? Now, let's find the area of octagon. That is to say, area of square minus 4 triangle area. So, which is area of square is 36 plus 72 square root 2 plus 72 minus 36. So, that 36 and 36 cancel. I knew that. Therefore, I didn't combine them earlier. So, what we get here is 72 plus 72 square root 2, which is exactly same as what we got. Do you see that? 72. You can factor this. 1 plus square root 2. So the formula works, right? Do you see that? So in any case, you have understood that the formula which can be used for an octagon, area for octagon, is 2 times side square times 1 plus square root 2. Of course, unit square. Clear? So you get the same value. So that is how you can find area of a octagon. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. And watch other related videos on area and perimeter. Thanks for your time and all the best.